Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hey everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto, and today we have an 07 Honda Accord in the shop, and we're going to do rear strut assemblies. If you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. There's two pull tabs located for the bottom seat. There's one here and one there, right in that area. So you reach your fingers and you can see, feel it like a little T handle. Pull out on the handle and pull up. Then do the same on that side. I'm going to grab mine from the center here and keep a firm hand. Pull down. Once this is up, you'll see a little head of a, a bolt right here, 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to take this one off and the same one on that side. My 10 millimeter socket. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now you take your ignition key and you put it in the, the lock back here and you hit unlock. Pull the seat down. And now we have the side pillar that's unbolted from the bottom. You're going to lift up on it and push that aside. Do the same to the other side. Now with a trim tool, I'm just going to reach up in here and just pull up, up on the plastic tabs. Jeez. There we go. With a 14 millimeter socket, I'm going to disconnect the top of the strut tower mounting bracket is two nuts. I'm not going to touch that center. That is the spring load. I had to get a quarter inch set to get to that back one because of the, the plastic in the way. Nineteen millimeter socket to loosen up the lug nuts. I'm going to use a two post lift to raise my vehicle. You can use a jack and jack stands at home. I can take my 19 millimeter socket, now that I've raised it up, and I can remove the lug nuts to take the tire off. To remove the bottom mount of the strut, it's a 17 millimeter socket. I'm just going to put a socket on there with an extension, get my long ratchet, and break that free. The next thing I do is I'm going to remove this bolt that holds the bracket to the upper sway bar link and that way I get more bottom throw out on the bottom of the strut housing. It's a 14 millimeter socket, takes that bolt right out of there. And then I can just set that aside, move that away. Now I've got more throw here for my lower shock.
And there you have it. <laughs> Just had to get a better angle. There it is. Here we have the new rear strut to our 07 Honda Accord from 1A Auto. And here we have the original equipment we just pulled out. They're both the same length, as you can see. Coils with the same diameter. Comes with a new Johns bumper and dust boot. Comes with two new locking nuts on the strut mount for the top. And a new rubber seal that will get nice and compressed in there. Stop any road noise. If you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. I'm going to dismount the two locking nuts for the strut cap for the inside of the cab with the compartment. Set these aside. I'm going to fish this back in. Got to go between the link. Get my pry bar. So pry, pull down on the suspension, and then you're going to fish the new strut in through the link and the bracket. this down and get this in the fender well. Now with the strut in the fender well, I can lift it up and line it up in the top. Let's see if I can poke that through. See if I can now pry this down far enough to get the. Uh, I'm gonna hold it there. It looks like I got enough on there. Now I'm gonna lower the vehicle and put the two top nuts on the mount so I can work down below and not have this fall down. So now I'm gently gonna put the nuts on by hand, <laughs> only because I don't want the whole strut assembly to fall back down through. Now I'm going to get my socket and tighten that down. So the new nuts to the strut mount are a 15 millimeter socket. I'm just alternating it back and forth and tightening it down, snugging it. The torque specs for this is 37 foot-pounds. We're ready to go down below again. So now with my long pry bar, I'm going to pull down on the suspension and see if I can get the bottom part of the strut at least started before I remount the sway bar link bracket on the other side. Now that part is lined up, I can put the bracket on and then thread that bolt through. So I'm going to line up the sway bar link bracket to the knuckle and start this bolt.
I'm not going to tighten that up until I've threaded this bolt completely through and started it. By leaving that bracket loose, it was easier for me to stop the threads. Just in case, if you tight that bra tighten that bracket up and it's just a one millimeter off of the threaded hole, you can end up stripping that nut and ruining the bolt. It's easier to make sure that the main bolt is threaded through and then we'll tighten up that bracket. Now I'm gonna tighten up that bracket, 14 millimeter socket. Now we can torque the main bolt on the bottom of the strut. So now I'm going to torque it. Manufacturer specs is 43 foot pounds. It's a 17 millimeter socket. Reinstall the top piece trim. Move the seat belt out of the way. Actually, it doesn't have to go away. Line this keyway up with the latch that releases the seats and the lip goes on the top of that plastic piece. You can guide, guide them right in and you'll see right where the plastic clips go and just push down. And you go all set. So you have to make sure you get this, this bottom eyelet in the middle bracket and this top one in that bracket. With the seat belt out of the way, no, now the bottom one's in, there we go. Now that's lined up. You can see the trim better on the door casing. Now we're going to have to repeat that process on that side. Okay, seat belts are all lined up for this side. Push it back and snap it down in. That side's down. I'll repeat the process on the other side. Nineteen millimeter socket. We're going to torque the wheels up. The wheel torque on this particular model is eighty foot pounds. Make sure you do it in the star pattern, crisscross, and then double check. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.